Ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap Boxing Podcast, your main event of the evening. Watch, see what happens. Watch that fight tonight with Conor McGregor, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it tonight. He got con. Oh, that's that MMA fight, right? Yeah. Conor McGregor and uh, I don't know them guys. I don't know the guy, but is it a guy he fought before? Yeah, this is the yeah. Uh, how did how did the first one go? I, I don't remember, man. My 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 uh brother I won the first one. My brother in law is real into UFC, so he got me watching those fights. You know, it is we we well, I I got him training me too as well. And my brother in law is he's on my ass. That's the only reason I'm in. Shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> McGregor McGregor knocked him out in uh, less than, than two minutes the first time. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens this time. Man, I, I was watching his weigh-ins, man. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. I'm gonna start doing that in my weigh-ins. There you go. Yeah, he's selling that shit, man. Uh you know, I, I'm I, I was a kind of McGregor. Well, I'm Irish, so I'm a root for the Irishman, but I was a kind of McGregor fan all the way into that Khabib fight, and I don't, I don't know shit. I don't know shit about MMA, right? Yeah, me. But either. I got, I, like I got that. friends. Yeah, I got friends, and it's a fight. Mm -hmm. So about three years before the kind of McGregor fight and Khabib, my buddy, we would go watch the MMA, and uh, so I'm seeing the Khabib guy come with the big afro hat and shit, and I'm going. This is a bad motherfucker, man. He grabs people and he just, you know, he wrestles them to the ground and shit. He don't let them, he don't let them hit him. And so, by accident, by going to watch Conor McGregor, I'm seeing Khabib fight, right? Yeah. And I'm going. I know, I know, because you, you hear it on the MMA shows where they saying this guy can box and shit. Then he can't box. Motherfucker can't box a Christmas gift. But yeah. to them, that's they boxing, right? So, Conor McGregor's supposed to be this great boxer, right? And I'm going, well, how is he going to stop Khabib from grabbing him around the, around the legs, right, and flipping him and, and jumping on him and choking him? I said, I don't see no – he don't really have no no defense for how Khabib comes at it, you yeah. know, because a lot, a lot of guys come at him and he can move and shit and, yeah. boom, make him pay. But Khabib, he gets you, man. He sucks you in and starts rap. I said, so I'm rooting for uh, Conor McGregor, of course. I said, but – I told my buddy, I said, man, I think Khabib's going to get him, man. And uh, sure enough, he got him. But, hell, I was like, man, that choke wasn't even around his throat, man, when he went to tapping <laughs> out. I said, man, all that big wolf chicken shit. Yeah. I said, man, you making me fuck up. I almost threw my flag down and shit. I was like, this motherfucker, man. But a buddy of mine said, that's a certain kind of lock or something. Like, maybe it did was hurting him or something. I don't know. But I tell you, man, I, I really think Connor is a, a a salesman. I think he's a character. Oh, he, he's the I showman. Think, it's all a show. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, ain't, it ain't all that badass shit like he's saying. He, 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 he'll he fight. He ain't going to puck out. But yeah. when that shit gets bad, he quits. He taps out like a motherfucker, just like everybody. So I love it. But once I see that, it's like it's like in, it's like in our sport, Pope Chop. Yeah. Once a guy quits on his stool, right? Oh, yeah. It's like, he's done. Yeah. fuck. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, man. Now I can't put my faith in you. Not that, yeah. not that a, a fighter, like to me, the corner should stop it. When it when your fighter's getting to the point where he's going to quit, your coach should know that, so he should have done fucking stopped and saved you. But, but, you know, once you quit on that stool, man, it's like, how, it's like, it's like this big British kid, right? Who fought uh, Slowpoke Joe. So, we, we fought that night uh, when Robert won his title. I said, uh, Man, I've been watching Soul Pope. He can box. That dude can fight, man. I said, he just, he's so fucking slow, but he takes it. He got good whiskers. He sees it coming. So he gets hit. I said, but this young boy, this young powerful kid, and I was talking to Bobby and them, and they, they was telling me how strong Joyce was and, th and this, that, and the third. I said, I said, but I don't see the box in there. That's just me. That's just me. I don't see the box in there. And if he don't catch Slow Pope with something early, that boy's going to get his ass whooped. And so we laughing. And as the fight's going, I'm seeing I'm seeing Joyce ain't having no problem with his power. And yeah. he's getting that jab going. He's getting that jab going. And this and then and then I seen two two rounds before Joyce quit. 
Ask Robert Redman. I'm sitting there with Robert Redman. I said, that boy's about to quit, man. And they was looking at me like you crazy. I said, watch, watch. And sure enough, he, he took one and went down. Yeah. And I know and I know they say his face broke. That's the big thing now. Your face broke. Whenever you quit, your face broke. I'm surprised. I'm surprised uh Wilder's face wasn't broke at the end of the fight. But <laughs> but this is I, the thing. How you come back from that? Mm. That boy, because he got beat into submission. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I get he got that. beat into submission. Yeah. I'm not